let's go back into, we did four axes, let's do five axes. Okay, we got uh, 20 minutes, let's do that. Okay, now in this part, you'll see the default orientation or default instance is the standard orientation with X, Y, and Z pointing upward, the Z axis, okay? So that is your default orientation. Let's go, first thing you need to do is go up and look at the machine definition again. Now, do that right there so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we got our machine type set to five axis, and then we have our configuration. In five axis, you can have a head-to-head configuration, which means the the gumball or the or the the um, the uh, head actually has two rotational axes in it. If you look back again, let's go back. If you look at this, see this head right here, you got the fourth axis and the fifth axis. Each one of those axes can rotate along with the spindle itself, okay? So these two axes are being defined uh, in this dialog right here. So we have a five axis set to head to head, and then it could also be a table head, in other words, you're, you're Fourth and fifth axis could be in the table, uh, or it could be all axes can be in the table. Uh, in this particular example, we have both rotational axes in the head itself. So we, with this set to five axis, you need to define your fourth primary axis. As you recall, in the four axis uh, machine, we set this to the fourth rotational axis. So it is considered or labeled the primary axis after the, you know the three axes this is the primary fourth axis and in this case we have it defined as positive z you look at the green arrow okay so this is our fourth rotational axis in the head and then down here we have our fifth secondary axis it's called again it's called primary and secondary and we have it set to positive y okay so you should see on the y axis right here in red arrow, so that is your um, that is your fifth secondary axis. You need to make the sure. Reason, that, yeah, uh, hey, Don, I want to explain what primary and secondary are. Uh, the primary axis uh, is the the axis on which the other axis rotates. So, uh, for instance, uh, if you had a B and a C axis, and C is the primary axis, well, C means it's rotating about the Z axis. And when that head rotates about the C, it also rotates the other axes, uh, while the, uh, that is the secondary axis. The secondary axis is affected by the primary rotation of the primary axis. But the primary axis, if the secondary axis rotates by itself, it does not affect the primary axis. That's why we name it primary and secondary. I hope it makes sense. And um, I assume, Joe, you, you might see both those in effect, if, like if it's doing a, uh, an approach or an unwind or something to get to the next operation. Does that affect, you know, which way it, it uh, unwinds, so which is the primary and the secondary? Does that affect that? Uh, each machine is built differently, so it really depends on the machine builder okay. so and we, we basically uh, define the machine here by saying which is secondary and which is primary so okay okay so again in the fifth axis very critical you need to make sure that you have this set and then um uh, also joe i assume we have to have the output to, to local if we're doing indexed Yes, um, yes, and you're correct in most of the cases, but it really depends on how your post is set up. Uh, your post can do a lot of interesting things. So if we, especially with the new programmable posts, uh, okay. we can uh, we have access to both the uh, setup coordinates uh, as well as the machine coordinates. Mm -hmm. So if your post is uh, set up in a way that it can access both. It really doesn't matter what you're outputting, but if you are using the legacy posts, yes, uh, you want to make sure everything is output in the setup coordinate system. Okay. Otherwise, it's not going to be correct. So, yeah, let, we'll go. Let, let's go into the post setup, and we'll do, we'll look at it in just a second. 
So okay. we have uh, output and local coordinate systems, okay? And uh, we have our axes limit set to no limit. You can set these, whatever your machine uh, limits are. And again, this needs to be set up correctly or you will you know you won't get this correct posted output so you need to make sure and this is in conjunction with the post as Joe mentioned so we're going to look at the post just a second let's pick okay there or just cancel there 